Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Real quick, before I get into this video, I want to tell you about PopCultureZone.com. They are a website specializing in comic books, some of the hottest variants, and CGC comics. And for those raw comics, if you are shipping to the domestic United States, you only pay $4.99 flat rate shipping. PopCultureZone.com. Now on to the video. What is going on guys, it's Brian Man's Comics. Yes, I did take a few weeks off and I'm sorry for my viewers. Had a bunch of personal stuff going on. Had multiple weddings, multiple travel, went to San Antonio. Congratulations to my younger brother. Finally got married, been saying it for years. My brother, my father, everyone that knows him need to marry this woman. And it finally went down at the Japanese Tea Garden in San Antonio, Texas. So enjoyed that travel. I apologize for not having final order cutoff videos the past few weeks, but we are back and we have some great books to talk about. These are books that are hitting final order cutoff this coming Monday night, Sunday, if you're DC or Scout, but I do not have very many DC or Scout comics, if at all, this week. And we're jumping straight into Marvel. Jonathan Hickman is coming to the end of his run on X-Men titles and we get Inferno number one. I'm not a huge X-Men fan, but I am a John Hickman fan, so I will be picking this up. This has some great covers for it. There's a bunch of covers, of course. You know how Marvel likes to do my favorite. Actually, outside of that cover A, always got to pick up the cover A, but I do like that Jeff Deckel variant. Always a big fan of Jeff Deckel. I won't say underappreciated because some of his covers are very hot and everyone seems to like his art, and this falls right in line with that. Love that Jeff Deckel variant. That's the one I'm picking up. And... In Inferno, do we get to see Krakoa get burnt to the ground? I'm anxious to see. You're not even a big X-Men fan, but I'm definitely going to be reading this one. One character I am a fan of and one I'm excited to pick up is Miles Morales Spider-Man number 30. This is the 10th anniversary special for Miles Morales. We have some great stories in here. They are saying they're debuting a new suit in issue number 30. There's also a 1 in 10 design variant showing that full suit on display from multiple angles. And it's bringing in the Miles Spider-Man movie geniuses. We get Phil Lord and Christopher Miller with also some Sarah Pacelli goodness in here. So if you're a fan of Miles Morales, this is celebrating that 10th anniversary. This series has been great. Marvel's also been building up to this 10th anniversary with those Miles Morales 10th anniversary variants for all the other series. There's some great covers out there for that that have been hitting Final World Cutoff and have released already, but definitely picking up Miles Morales Spider-Man number 30. And I think I'm going to pick up a couple extra copies for my youngest, who's a huge Miles Morales fan. Also from Marvel, we are getting Darkhold Alpha number one. If you're a fan of WandaVision, if you're new to this and not familiar with Darkhold, but you watch WandaVision, you're somewhat familiar with Darkhold and you're so much familiar with Scarlet Witch and then where that's going to take us into the MCU. But here we have a book hitting at the end of September, just in time for Halloween. We have the Book of the Dead and Scarlet Witch needs to save the day by unleashing the inner darkness in world's greatest heroes. A bunch of great covers for this one as well. Like I said, if you're a fan of that WandaVision show, this is another one that's great to pick up for. It is written by Steve Orlando. I actually liked his Supergirl run previously. And we have interior art by Clan Tormy. There's also an incentive 1 in 25 super log variant. Me, I'm sticking with cover A on this one. There's also that 1 in 10 design variant. If you're a fan of those design variants, this might be one you're interested in as well. But either way, anxious to pick this up just for a good read and get a little bit more backstory on the Darkhold from that WandaVision series that was on Disney+. Plus. Getting over to indie comics from Vault Comics, we get Human Remains number one. Vault has been putting out some great series lately. Not that they haven't in the past, but they've definitely made a resurgent. Here we get Human Remains number one. And in this, we get Dax and Bisa who love each other to death, but that is actually super dangerous because Earth has been invaded by monsters that deprive people of the very feelings that make them human. Vault is promising a tale of pent up emotions and perilous horror. I'm a huge fan of horror comics, do love Vault comics. So I'm definitely picking this up. There are some incentive variants for this. Vault has been starting to produce more of these. There's actually a one in 30, a one in 50, some other covers as well. And sponsor of this channel, The 616 Comics. You can check them out at the616comics.com. They actually have an exclusive Ben Harvey variant for this issue, limited to 500 copies. 
It's on sale right now at the 616comics.com. These next two picks are actually no brainers. Everyone's aware of them, but we got to talk about it in this video. From Boom Studios, we get Something is Killing the Children, number 20. This series has been fire. James Tynan's been fire. James Tynan is writing all types of good things, which is actually in my next pick as well. But Something is Killing the Children shows no signs of letting up. Each issue seems to be better than the previous one. Storytelling at its best and tier art at its best. Horror comics at its best. And no doubt we are getting that upcoming Netflix series. There's also a spinoff series of House of Slaughter coming up. So Something is Killing the Children number 20, unless you're living under a rock. You are most likely aware of this, but it's hit and final cutoff this coming Monday. And there's a banger, 1 in 25 incentive variant for it. So make sure you're on the lookout for that. And keeping with that James Tynan goodness over from Image Comics, another one people are well aware of, Department of Truth issue number 13. That one is also hitting FOC this Monday night. I see three covers for this and all look to be regular priced. So if you're looking to pick up Department of Truth and any of these covers interest you, you can get that pre-order in before Monday for final order cutoff. And a lot of times, like we always say in this video, save yourself a little bit of money, get that pre-order discount and guarantee your copy on release day. Then also from publisher Source Point Press, Frank Gogol, he's written Dead End Kids. He's written No Heroin. He's also written Power Rangers. Here he has a new series from Source Point Press called The Unborn with Unborn Number One. If you're a fan of Power Rangers or Alien, this is one you might be interested in where we have five explorers mining for super fuels in a last ditch effort to save the earth, all the while being hunted by hostile aliens. But even more dangerously, the aliens might not be the only thing they have to look out for. They also have to look out for each other. If you like Frank Gogol, if you're a fan of his writing, a lot of his books often sell out, so this is one to pay attention to for Final Order Cutoff. Source Point Press, not a large imprint, so this is definitely one that's key for this video, so that if you're interested, get your pre-order in, order it online, get a discount, and definitely guarantee your copy. But either way, fans of Power Rangers, fans of Alien, this is a book that you might be interested in. Also a couple extra picks for you, I have some trade paperbacks that are definitely worth mentioning. If you're a fan of Saga, everyone is waiting for Saga to return. But in the meantime, you can order this mega trade paperback set. That's right, you get volumes one through nine of the trade paperbacks, plus an exclusive set of six by nine cover prints. And it's all bundled together in a nice box set for you. So if you're a fan of Saga, or you just wanna get caught up, or you're just a collector, Pokemon style, gotta get everything Saga. This is a set that you might wanna look out for. It actually is releasing in November, but final order cutoff for it is this coming Monday night. Again, you get trade paperback volumes one through nine and that exclusive set of six by nine prints. Also from Image Comics, Ultra Mega, one of my favorite books right now. If you're a fan of those kaiju stories, which seems to be super prevalent right now, or if you're a fan of James Heron, this one, it is a great way to get caught up if you haven't been buying these issues and you say, hey, I want to check out the story. That first volume of the trade paperback collecting issues one through four hits final order cutoff. I've been liking Kaiju. And in fact, I have my one of the best Kaiju artists out there that I know of, Attack Peter. I am wearing his t-shirt right now. Good old Takaro. Love Attack Peter. Make sure you guys check him out on YouTube and Instagram. He's got some of the coolest art, some of the coolest prints. And in fact, he did a Skybound Comics Vault Live Ultra Mega number one variant not too long ago. But either way, volume one of the Ultra Mega trade paperback hits final cutoff this coming Monday. And then one last trade paperback I want to talk about is from Boom Studios, one of their biggest titles right now. I mean, it exploded on shelves, it exploded on headlines, it exploded on websites. When you get Keanu Reeves involved, this is definitely bound to happen. But either way, Matt Kent, Keanu Reeves, you can't forget Matt Kent. His writing is just as phenomenal. Berserker, volume one trade paperback, also hits final order cutoff. So another great way to get caught up on that story if you haven't been picking up the floppies. Or if you do pick up the floppies and are like me and don't want to read them, trade paperbacks usually when I go and pick that up. Pre-ordering before final order cutoff gets you a discount a lot of times. So Berserker, volume one trade paperback, final order cutoff this Monday night as well. Which lastly brings me to additional printings. We actually have quite a few this week. It's been pretty slow in previous weeks, but we do have some great ones. Starting with Image, we get Geiger number six, 
getting a second print. That's that Jeff Johns creator owned goodness. And then from Marvel, Kang the Conqueror number one, getting a second print, falling right off the end of that Loki series. Kang is one of the biggest villains on the tips of everyone's tongue right now. When Thanos came out in Avengers, we are getting the same, if not more, with Kang following Loki and the future of the MCU. So no doubt that was going to a second print. Also another big series from Marvel, Moon Knight number two is getting a second print. We are getting that Star Wars High Republic number eight with the second print, as well as Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunter number three with the second print. And from Scout Comics, which again hits Final Order Cut Off Sunday, not Monday, we are getting We Don't Kill Spiders number one with a second print. So there it is, guys. Those are my picks for comics that are in Final Order Cut Off this coming Monday slash Sunday. And once again, I want to thank channel sponsors, popculturezone.com. You saw that little mini commercial at the beginning of this video. You can pre order lots of 10 raw comics on there, flat shipping in the domestic United States for $4.99. And the616comics.com. They have a bunch of great store exclusives as well as a bunch of other comics available to buy right now on the616comics.com. And if you just want to support the channel, you can do so by going to patreon.com forward slash Simple Man's Comics. Whole bunch of great tiers up there for you. And one of them is a few spots open right now where you get exclusive variants from the616comics and you get four exclusives all that shipped to you for $35. That's way below retail. And some of those books go for way more on the secondary market. So you can support the channel and get something great back in return. But that being said, guys, this is Brown of Men's Comics. See you guys in the next video. Look. They talking like they don't know a king when they see one. See him in person, he take it back like a refund. Balling with my brothers on my Play a D1, daily checking chicken, he gon' spin and watch it reruns. Say they real, but they clones of me.